It is that time. It is time for me to review the products I got from Ipsy for the month of January. So if you're curious to see what I thought about the products, just keep watching. <laughs> How is everybody doing? I hope everybody is well. And I am Mandy. For those of you who are just now stopping by, thank you so much and welcome to the video. All right, guys, it is that time. It is time for me to tell you what I thought about the products that I got from Ipsy for the month of January. So, guys, we're going to go ahead and jump in. Okay, guys, for those of you who don't know what Ipsy is, it is a monthly makeup subscription for $10 a month. You get four to five products in a cute little bag. So I would count this bag actually as another item that you also get. And it's a really good way to save money. I have not been disappointed yet. I've been with them for a year. And if you are interested in the Ipsy Glam bag, I will leave a referral link down in my description box. I absolutely make no money off of it. Now, if you do click on it and you do happen to get the subscription from that link, I just get Ipsy points. So I am not affiliated. First off, let's go ahead and do the bag. I absolutely love the bag. I loved it for the theme. The theme was Game Face, and I absolutely love the bag with it. It is made just like a running shoe. It's got the little shoe string for the zipper, so I would not carry this daily, but I could see myself toting it around in my purse. And for the first item that is in here, I will go ahead and get out of the way. It is the Brigio Scalp Revival Charcoal and Coconut Oil Micro Exfoliating Shampoo. Now this was a first for me. I have never tried, nor have I ever heard of a charcoal shampoo. It actually did work really good. It did make my hair soft and silky. This creamy micro exfoliating scalp shampoo contains general coconut derived cleansers and vegetable based exfoliators to gently remove dead skin and impurities from the scalp and the hair. Now, the only problem that I had with this was the texture of it. It was a little bit weird. It's got the beads in it, and I think those beads are supposed to bust. I believe those are the exfoliating beads, and it was just kind of weird, the texture, but other than that, I did like this. The thing that I got in the bag was this. This is the Cookie Professional Kissable Liquid Lipstick. Now, this is a liquid, a matte liquid lipstick. Now, I did want the other shade because it was a little bit more nude. I got mine in shade Mad about mauve, and I am wearing all these products today, well, except for the shampoo. I had, you can't really wear that in a video, but I do like it. I think that when it first goes on, it shows up a little bit light, and then it gets a little bit dark, but I do like the texture of it, and I think it wears very well. Now, within the first 30 seconds or so, you're going to get that sticky texture, but that does go away, and I think it does last pretty long, guys. The only thing that I didn't like about it was the color, and you do have to use a lip liner with this because it does not give you that nice, sharp, crisp line like a lip liner would do. The next thing I got in my bag was the Preventative Measures 101 After Hours Lip Balm. Now, I did like this. I have never got a lip balm or a chapstick that I didn't like, so I do absolutely love when they do send any kind of chapsticks. And if you go on the Ipsy page, it shows you all kinds of other stuff that you could do with this. Actually, there is a trend going around now where you could do your eyeshadow and put some lip balm on top of it, and it gives you a glossy coated look on your eyes. I have not tried that with this, but I am going to give that a go. And my favorite thing that I got in the bag this month was this. This is the Mary Luminizer. Now, this is made from the balm. I absolutely, I've never had anything bad from the balm. I love all their products. Now, this is not a highlight. This is just an illuminator. If you don't like those intense highlighters, I think this is perfect. And on those natural days, I think this is really nice. And, I, and the last thing that I got in the bag was this. This is the Ciate London. This is the Fierce Flicks. Now, this is a felt tip pen eyeliner. I absolutely love it. Of course, it is in shade black. It starts drying out. I feel that you got to shake it up a little bit just to get it, but it does give you a sharp wing, and I really love this. It, it's hard for me to find one that is like this that I really like that's going to give you this sharp line. So all in all, I love just about everything in the bag. Now, everything didn't work 100% like I wanted it to, but I did like the bag this month. 
And that is it for this video, guys. So if you enjoyed seeing my review, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel and become part of the Glow Tart family. We would love to have you and I love you and I'll see you next video. Bye.